Well, hello there everyone and welcome to a new video over here on Anton's Hardware Channel. Now, today we're going to talk about this. This is a Creative Sound Blaster Omni 5.1. You can see the box in the back there. It's an external sound card from Creative. It only cost me about 60 euros, so how good is it? Let's find out in this video. So it's Corona time and you sit inside and you have nothing better to do. So what do you do? Well, you grow a moustache. And well, I'm kind of fond of this moustache, even though I look ridiculous. I know that my wife tells me that a couple of times a day, but I still think it's great. So I always tend to sing the moustachio song from Left 4 Dead 2, moustachio, ha 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 ha. And but that's not what this video about is about. Uh, I think I'll get rid of the moustache after recording this video to make the wife a bit more happy. No, this video is about this. It's an external sound card by Creative. It's the Creative uh, Sound Blaster Omni 5.1. According to the package, it's a high quality cinematic 5.1 surround card. It supports SBX, Crystal Voice, Scout Mode, Digital, Adobe Digital. It has a dual mic built in and it supports a 600 ohm headset now i don't think that it really does but let's take their word for it that it does but uh, for that price no i don't think so so let's take a quick look at what the other specifications are and what's inside of this sound card Now, sadly, I cannot open up this uh, the, the sound card itself because I want to return it to the shop and it has to be, well, in sort of pristine condition in order to do that. What I do know what's inside because I found out what these specifications is. Well, inside there is a RISC processor designed by Creative and it's the CA18092 ag which is a rather standard chip. It is designed in 2008, it runs at 100 megahertz. It doesn't really matter, but it was also used in another sound card, which is the X5 Surround 5.1, 5.1 Pro, and the X5 HD, which are all external sound cards. The more interesting thing is the digital to analog converter, which in this case, it's, it's the Cirrus Logic CS4361, which has a signal to noise ratio of 105 decibels, it can convert data into in 24 bits and 192 kilohertz. It's a six channel DA converter. What is interesting is that the product itself says it has a signal to noise ratio of 100 decibels. And here it says 105, so not really sure what's going on there. It also has, of course, a microphone convert, which is an ADC, an analog to digital converter, which is a 5000. 345 and it converts data to uh, the, sorry the signal to noise ratio is 104 decibels now the headphone amp that is used is a max 9000 to check it out 722 0a now i'm not really sure what kind of amp that is um there's no op amps or whatever so you're not able to switch it but okay hey it is in there And this is what the installation process looks like. It has been sped up to 250% because, well, I didn't want to bore you with a complete installation process, but I, well, I did want you to see what it looks like. It's a very standard, very, well, sort of normal and nothing too exciting going on. And this is what the driver interface looks like. This is the SBX Pro Studio, a crystal voice. You also have the scout mode and your speakers headphones set up. A cinematic setup for you can set up your Dolby Digital, a mixer, and of course an equalizer. Now this interface is about the same as you have may have seen in other creative sound cards. So there's nothing too exciting going on here. Now, 
this is what the microphone sounds like when you're using it in real life. Now, I've already enabled the mic boost because, well, that's what you use most of the time. Uh, but also what is very interesting is the Crystal Voice, some software that actually works from Creative. The Crystal Voice, if I enable it, everything is enabled and you can hear that the sound is a lot better than without it especially the noise reduction now what's interesting here is the focus because if i uh, it suppresses the noises outside your zone and can only be heard with amazing what did it say amazing clarity sorry now you can widen this or you can narrow it but because when i narrow it this happens and i keep on talking 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 And when I start talking, come back into focus. Well, you can hear my voice all of a sudden. Now, this isn't the best software uh, out there. Uh, sorry, the, not the best microphone out there. I used this microphone when playing with some of my friends. And after a couple of minutes, some of them said, well, are you sitting in the bathroom or is something else happening? Please shut this microphone down and use the one that you normally would use. Now, it's been some time since I last recorded my last video, and as you can see, the moustache is gone, sadly. Um, I must agree with the wife. I looked ridiculous with it, so, well, I, well, I just removed it. I shaved it away. Um, shaved it off. In Dutch, you would say, ah, oh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but the main point, besides all that, the moustache. Um, what do I think of this sound card? Well, uh, this sound card, is it any good? Well, I do have some problems in finding what the target group is. First of all, um, if you look at the gamers, well, these two microphones could be interesting, but as you heard, the sound quality was really bad. So, okay, that's not the target group. There are other solutions that are a lot better. Also, um, other target groups, maybe people who are willing to use Skype, well, again, the sound quality of the microphones is really bad. So maybe the people who want to who want to watch movies, well, you even get a tiny uh, remote control with this uh, sound card. But if you want to use it with an HTPC, wouldn't you get a, well, a bit more decent one and one that you can attach to your um, receiver, your Dolby Digital DTS receiver? So I'm not really sure what the target group is. And if you listen to the sound quality of this sound card, it isn't that good. It's really up in there. It's really high. It's sharpish. Uh, you can almost hear that it struggles to provide you with a decent sound. Um, in the middle, it's too high. So it's, it, well, it's just not pleasant sound to hear. So my verdict, should you get this one? Well, my answer is really quick. No, don't get this one. If you want to buy a decent sound card, get the Asus Xoner AE. It is the same price. It has a lot more diff uh, a lot more quality, better components. It isn't old and it's definitely better than this one. So that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Next video is about that sound card over there. I think it's about this, that one. It may also be a storage video, not really sure. It all depends on, well, if I have enough time to finish any videos. Um, that's it for me for today. Please leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and I hope to see you soon.